Hello, Tim Sandal here. Um, I just want to do a short video about rapid microbiological methods and environmental monitoring. And uh, the technology I want to um, feature, just very briefly, is spectrophotometric particle counters. And this is an example of uh, more recent technology and how this can help in the clean room assessment. So first of all, rapid microbiological methods. So they aim to provide data that is more sensitive, accurate, and faster. And that's when with when that's compared with conventional growth-based methods. And for the clean room, the spectrophotometric counters are case in point. And these are um, basically extensions of the standard particle counter concept and they work on advances in light scattering optics and through the use of special software and they provide real-time data about particles biological activity um, within the air so essentially they're differentiating between inert particles and those particles that are biologically active and by biologically active they might be microbial um, and this is achieved through um, two detectors so first of all there's the conventional detector as you'd get in a standard optical particle counter and then there are detectors um, that are based on uh, fluorescence detection uh, looking for these biological um, particles and they're looking for three biological markers and these are three metabolites NADH, riboflavin and DPA. DPA is the uh, acid component of um, bacterial spores. Um, so they have a reasonable chance of picking up um, most um, things that could be microbial. The downside is is that they can sometimes fluoresce to non-biological events. So if you had to spray glove wash too close to these or sometimes clothing fibers can also simulate uh, stimulate sorry the, the same response. Okay so here is some data from um, these particle counters uh, and this is data that um, I actually gathered myself. Um, so with these charts, um, biological readings or bio readings are in red. Particle counts are in yellow. And the objective of these three, these four charts is showing the status of a clean room going through um, different states. So we've got things like conditions before a shutdown. Um, conditions during a shutdown including a point when the HVAC system is deactivated um, the uh, reinstatement of the clean room and and the cleaning activities and the amount of time that's required for the clean room to settle down after coming out through these series of steps to get back to its original state and this gives us an understanding of uh, what type of events trigger the highest biological readings and how long clean rooms require to um, rest. So we can get an understanding of what's normal in terms of biological activity, get an understanding of the impact of people in the area, equipment movements and so on, what happens when we declassify areas, the impact of cleaning and then this whole um, recovery period and, and time. Other applications where these counters are, are quite useful is in areas where um, there's um, risks to hot cleaner areas so around airlocks or changing rooms and also for assessing um, say how many people we're permitted to have in a changing room okay that's the end of this video and is this fits neatly into the kind of core content in some of this unit where we're looking at um, qualification and application of methods See you later.